Hey there, welcome back to Boards 3D. I'm Kurt. Today we're making this belt and sword scabbard. <laughs> So I am back in the shop with another project and this is something that I've been meaning to do for quite some time. It's yet another project for Witcher School and this time is going to be something which involves this. This is going to be my sword that I'm going to use for Witcher School. Um, it's basically a foam and a kind of hard foam um, hybrid kind of sword. Um, I have no idea on live action roleplay swords so this is my first experience. I'm not an expert in them by any stretch. Of the imagination but I know that it is uh, covered in latex so we'll have to make concessions for that because latex while durable you, it needs to be taken care of so today we're going to make the a belt for my character in Witcher School we're going to make a scabbard using the last piece of leather of my very first leather sheet that I had bought and we're going to use this belt buckle. Now this little beauty is something that I acquired when I recently visited Munich on a work trip. So it seems to be just about the right size for the belt. These belts I bought them off eBay if I recall correctly. So it's not something that I cut myself. They seem to be quite thick. I think they're about four or five millimeters thick. I don't know what poundage that turns out in, in regular leather working terms <laughs> but it is quite durable and quite strong which is something that I'll need um, for my costume. Um, the leather bracers were made out of this material which is a bit thinner so they can, they're can they not going to be pulled off, you're going to get hit on the bracers um, if anything but the belt needs to be strong because I, it can get snagged on a branch or someone might grab you from it, it needs to be quite strong I don't want any, any of my costume getting damaged um, in this event. I want to preserve it as best as I can. So out of these three leather belts I'm choosing to work with this one. This is the longest and this wraps around me um, well enough so that it can have about four or five inches of tongue which is the extra part of the belt. This is going to be a one day build. I have an off day today uh, from work so I'm going to make the most of it. So the first part of the project is going to be very very simple. It's basically going to be uh, carving out the leather, carving out the belt, and shaping the tongue, and basically preparing to have the buckle added onto it. Alright, once that is done, we'll start working on the scabbard, which is going to hold the sword. I've got an idea of how I want it. I want it at an incline, so we'll have to figure out how to fix that to the belt, how to attach it to the belt, but I, I've got a few ideas. And. Yeah, once that is done and everything's carved and ready, we'll stain it with black dye to match my bracers. And yeah, then see how it fits, see how well we've done. As always, no plans, I'm just making this up as I go. Um, but I've seen a few images which gave me a few inspirations, a few ideas. I've got all my tools at the ready, let's get started.
goes. I haven't tried it yet. This looks amazing. Let's see. Okay, belt fits, that's nice, that's nice. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! I'm at me low it! Look at that! I don't know. It's amazing! Very, very hard, man. I'm so very happy. Perfect. Perfect. Good clean up. That is amazing. This was such an amazing one day build and it truly was a one day build as it took me a bit less than 6 hours I think. Starting from a vegetable tanned leather belt, moving our way to cutting the ends, trimming it, carving it, stamping it and then making this cupboard. It was such an awesome experience. Now I am no expert leather worker, far from it, but I can see my skills improving while making this project which really shows that if you try hard enough, if you keep practicing, you'll always get better at your skill. I am very happy with how this project turned out, the belt and this cupboard, and I'm very excited to show this off at Witcher School and later on in other events that I'll be attending. I have to be honest, I wasn't very sure that the sword would fit in this cupboard and I was a bit skeptic, but then I decided to trust my gut instinct and, well, as you can see, works just fine. There is not much else to say about this project, Except that if you have some leather and you have some tools, go ahead and try it. It's such a simple project to make and you can make it as different as you like. You can really personalize it. I decided to go with a crosshatch design, but you could go with any kind of carving that you want. You can even carve your own design. As always, you can follow this project on my website borscht.net along with many of my other past projects. Also, you can follow me on social media. Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and you can always hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all my newest projects. As usual, just as I have been inspired by other makers out there to come in my shop and make something, hope that you too can make something as well because everyone is a maker. Now where's that monster? Right.